now let's get into the hardware and plastic component of wall to wall swing door means type 1 type 2 and type 3 so here it goes type 1 you can see type 1 what are the major component is the first thing is as we discussed one wall to glass hinges so how many glass hinges are used here you can see there are two wall to glass hinges then we are using here towel rod i mean the handle part this thing so one glass handle will be used then for bottom because it's a door we need water dispersal seal as we discussed plastic part so that plastic part which will prevent water to come out from the bottom so here we will be using this plastic part then on the sides again wall seal which is going to prevent water from wall to come out to the uh, wc area so this is what the type 1 category in type 2 the first thing changes is number of glass panel so you can see here one fixed and one door panel so for fixed panel let's go one by one you need two wall to glass clamp which is like first this and another this so that the glass will be holded on the wall with the help of this brackets and this bracket again will be of brass now to fix this glass in floor we need a floor bracket also so for fixed panel we will be in need of two wall to glass clamp and one floor to glass clamp so that is to fix the fixed part panel fixed panel of glass the another part is door panel so as earlier we saw door panel the same thing will happen here two hinges wall to glass hinges one towel rod that's all that's to fix the glass door part on wall side so one fixed part one glass door now to fix this fixed part we need stabilizer rod so that there won't be any vibration because fixed part is fixed from the bottom from top it is open so to avoid any kind of vibration or miss happening we need to provide a stabilizer rod as we discussed earlier the stabilizer rod and this towel rod may be of ss but that ss also must be of 304 grade why 304 grid because again it is very very less prone to corrosion which is considered as the most commonly used domestic steel grid so here we will be using one stabilizer rod now to connect stabilizer rod with glass we need a glass to rod connector which will hold rod to glass with that connector and to hold that rod from wall we need two connectors which is rod to wall connector one in left and one in right so that will connect rod from side as like we connect our towel rail in uh, curtain rail in our uh, home you can see one side is connected to the one wall another side is connected to the another wall so the same kind of connector will be used here to connect this stabilizer rod from wall to wall so these are the basic component which is being used for type 2 category and apart from that of course the plastic parts so when it comes to plastic part one magnetic seal in between this fixed and uh, door panel because the door is closing water should not come out from that space so there and then both the sides one side fixed wall another side door wall whereas the water should not come out from that gap then one we will be using the water dispersal seal at bottom so once you are opening the door it should not take out water it should take in again so those three areas where we are going to use the plastic parts coming to type 3 so type 3 you can see as we discussed there are two fixed panel one is at left one is at right and in center there is a door so here the hinges mechanism will also change as we discuss if glass is going to fixed on glass we will be using glass to glass hinges and though it is in linear position so here we will be using glass to glass 180 degree hinges and then as we discussed earlier it's a fixed part so we'll be using one fixed bracket here one wall to glass bracket here and one floor to glass bracket then same thing on the other fixed glass wall to glass wall to glass and here floor to glass so the hardware will remain double to the previous one i mean in type 2 there were one fix type 3 there are two fix so whatever we have used for one fix we'll have to just double it and then the hinges category will change same stabilizer rod rod to glass connector will be used here and then wall to rod connector from both the corner and then floor clamp so this is how a simple material specification will happen in this way for 
type 3. So, type 1, type 2, type 3 are basically wall to wall and majorly hinges used in this category is wall to glass hinge and the another is glass to glass 180 degree. Now, let us go to corner. So, corner is type 4. So, you can see here one is fixed and one is door 1. So, again the door is being fixed on wall. So, we will be using here wall to glass hinge. Remaining all will write same as like our type 2 category. Same to wall to glass bracket, one floor to glass bracket and then stabilizer rod here you can see it is connecting. One thing will be added here the L connector for stabilizer rod because rod is also coming like this. So, one connector will be provided here that is all. So, same specification for this whereas, towel rod, plastic seal, magnetic seal and floor dispersal seal will be used. So, the only difference is the glass orientation earlier it was wall to wall now we have kept this enclosure in a corner. So, corner enclosure is always giving more space like if you are going to cover wall to wall means the entire wall to wall area will be covered whereas, if you are going to put in corner it will give you remaining space free or dry which can be used in a different purpose. Now, same like in type 5 you can see again corner model what is the difference here there are two fixed panel one is this one is this and one door panel. So, the only difference here is again there are fixed panel being increased from 1 to 2 rest all structure is same. Same door opening on wall so wall to glass hinges rest fixed part again so fixed to I mean floor to glass and wall to glass clamping be used. Coming to type 6 type 6 as we discussed what kind of hinges being used here is glass to glass but 90 degree. Now, you can see here clearly why 90 degree because the glass is in rectangular position. So, when glass is in rectangular position it is opening like this and that is why you are using here 90 degree. If I will be opening this glass on this wall I mean on this fix panel then here I can use 180 degree hinges of course, because this glass is coming in linear position. So, the basic difference in between 90 degree and 180 degree hinges is if glass is opening in rectangular position we will be using 90 degree angle hinges. If glass is using linear position we will be using 180 degree hinges. So, that is a basic difference rest all other components will remain same like your uh, wall to glass clamp here, wall to glass clamp here, then floor to glass clamp here, then again on fixed panel wall to glass clamp here, wall to glass clamp here and then fixed to floor to glass clamp and this stabilizer rod will come from one side to the another with the help of a L connector over here. So, that is all and plastic component as you are aware now that one for the door part, one for the wall side and one for floor. So, all full length plastic part will be used. This is something uh, different from wall to wall and corner which is known as type 7 category. Now, what is so different by seeing picture you can identify there is no wall either on left or right then there is no wall in corner as well. It is a kind of insulation which is known as face to wall when you are having only facing wall and you do not have any corner or any wall to wall. So, what you can do is most of the time this kind of uh, insulation will come when the bathroom is very very big one corner suppose they are having some steam cabin some jacuzzi or something else another cabin they done some beautification they will give you open wall like this and then open wall is there and customer will ask you to put a shower cubicle on that. So, what you can do is you can fix a glass like this I mean the wall is here. So, one part can be this one part can be this and the another can be this. So, the same thing has been done in this picture. So, we are providing a complete shower cubicle on the face wall. So, one fixed panel will come in a tinted way another fixed panel will come like this. So, here door is opening on this glass you can see either uh, it is not 90 degree nor it is 180. So, here the hinges which is being used is basically glass to glass 135 degree because it is opening at a certain angle which is not 90 which is not 180. So, it is opening on a certain angle which is known as 135 degree angle. So, typically the hinges which is being used in this category is uh, glass to glass 135, but this model is rarely being promoted in market because most of the client are looking for shower setup either in any of the corner of bathroom. So, mostly we will be looking for uh, corner or maybe wall to wall enclosure. So, that is not the various part of this uh, product category, 
if rarely somebody is asking yes of course there is a solution in market you can go for that kind of hinges so just for our awareness we need to understand that what is 135 degree otherwise commonly the hinges which is being used is 90 degree glass to glass or 180 degree glass to glass other than that glass to glass there is one category which is wall to glass which is commonly used if your glass door is going to be put up on wall so that is all for wall to wall door opening now we will go through the sliding model as I said there is a possibility in sliding also so we will see through it you can see there are basic three type of sliding models available in market the first sliding model is sliding one where you can see one is fixed part another is door part as like we saw in wall to wall type 2 whereas the one fixed and one door so in same way one fixed and one is sliding the another one is corner sliding I mean type 2 and type 3 in sliding is corner where are two fixed and two moving so these two fix and these two are moving both left and side opening like this as we saw in fixed corner also one door is opening like this another is opening like this so this complete system will have that profile mechanism which needs more and more cleanliness more and more effort to make it clean in type 3 you can see here one fixed one fixed and one door opening on one side means two fixed and one sliding door opening on the left side so these are basically or uh, I would say commonly used sliding models in market whereas the most commonly used model is the sliding one so I'll take you through the specification of this part when you are going to select type 1 category you can see here on the top you need a channel to keep your roller inside it to hang the glass inside it because the glass will be holded on top why because top because uh, rollers are running on the track if we are putting track at the bottom it will absorb moisture it will get water it will get dust and dirt accumulated so the movement of rollers will not be that easy whereas if you are going to fix the rollers on the top it won't accumulate water in that channel so it will be very easy to go for a longer period of time and same way it will be easy for cleaning also so mostly you will see in sliding track the channel being used on top so same way here also you can see the top channel is there then there are rollers and there is knob to move this glass door then on the sides there will be plastic seal to prevent water to come out on the other side whereas the glass being overlapped here there are also some plastic seal will be there so while opening the door like this seals will be there should not come out type 2 the only number of fixed panel changes and the orientation so here as we discuss one fixed one fixed here two doors opening on the opposite direction left is opening left side right is opening on right side so in this also same kind of channel will be used on top mostly uh, when it comes to sliding there are two type of channel available one is with visible rollers one with non visible roller I'm sure you understand rollers on the basis of which the glass will rotate from left to right it's a very common thing which is being used in different multiplexes cinemas or some showrooms also the moment you enter door will open like that or you also also having sliding door you move it like this so all this sliding door moves on rollers so this rollers I mean the channel can be of two categories whereas the rollers will be visible you might have also experienced in some commercial spaces if you go and you look at the top you can see the rollers there are the different kind of channel which is completely packed like this roller so the channel will come in this way so you can't see the channel will be rollers will be keep on moving inside so that depend on the customer selection if he is interested to show his rollers or if he interested not to show rollers just to show the channel it should be more beautified in that way so he can select the category I mean the type of channel whether it's visible roller or invisible roller channel that's the I mean again aesthetical part of this sliding model that what kind of channel should be suggested so depending on customer requirement and our uh, material availability you can suggest what kind of material should go for it what kind of channel they should go for it then coming to the third category of sliding model is two fixed one door whereas the difference is the door is opening on only one side so here because there is no hinges so need not to think of about hinges and profile simply we need to think of the channel length so once the length is being specified you will have to go for that channel and then again roller category plus the plastic component so in this no hinges required so this is all about the product category and product selection after selecting the product we must know the prerequisite for installation also because this is a product which is installation oriented 
if you are not doing insulation properly again maybe the hinges will get loosened after a period of time or maybe the rollers won't be able to take the load of the glass so glass will come down the moment i say glass will come down means glass will get burst so that's the most critical part of this category that we need to understand the insulation part that's one thing and then secondly why insulation is critical because if you are taking a wrong measurement after getting glass at side nothing can be done because it's a toughened glass once the glass is being toughened you can't do anything you can't do drilling you can't do rubbing you can't do anything like if door is there i mean plastic or any other material you can rub it you can grind it even metal you can access door you can grind it but when it's a glass door that to toughen you can't do anything to it so insulation and measurement is the most critical element of this category so i'll just take you through that also that we'll be able to understand how to take the measurement and how to suggest our uh, channel partner or further technical associate people to take the right measurement